now move on to the deep into the topics inertia earlier i told you that inertia is the word introduced by a galileo scientist what is inertia he told that it is tendency tendency of a body to be in rest or to be in uniform motion this was the definition given by galileo what it means suppose you are sitting on a chair for a long time and some of your friend comes and says that stand immediately then you can't stand immediately because your body is suited in the rest state that is what called tendency suppose a person is running or jogging and you go to him suddenly say that stop jogging or stop running immediately he can't stop because the body is habituated with the running state or habituated with the jogging state so it will that is what called inertia so whenever in the rest state the body wants to be in rest whenever you are in the motion state the body wants to be in motion this is what called tendency of the body and that tendency is called inertia now galileo after defining this we have understand that we have two types of inertias number 1 inertia of rest it means body wants to be in rest state wants to be in rest state take an example you can do at home also take a container a glass tumbler filled with water and on the glass tumbler there is a cardboard on the cardboard there is a coin it's a coin now it is in the rest state whole the system is in rest state coin cardboard glass tumbler filled with water whole the system is in rest state now i pull the cardboard in this direction then what happens see i am pull i am pulling the cardboard suddenly not slowly suddenly then in the next state in the next state the cardboard comes in the direction of the pulling direction and the coin will fall into the water why because coin wants to be in the rest state as as soon as you pull the cardboard as it wants to be in the rest state it in the same location and immediately falling into the water so it's the best example for inertia of rest now take another example you are in a bus okay this is bus platform okay and you are standing on the platform inside the bus so bus is rest state now now the bus driver suddenly started the bus then what happened when the bus driver suddenly start the bus bus starts moving and the lower part of your body also starts moving but if you see this upper part still it wants to be in the rest state and so the lower part move in the forward direction because of motion of the bus but the upper part wants to be in the rest state then what happens this upper part in the same state so you feel you fall backwards so this is called falling backward so this type of experiences you will get many times in the bus or in the car or on the bike this is the example for inertia of rest now the second type inertia of motion it means body wants to be in motion take an example there is a fan having blades and the blades of the fan starts moving as soon as you switch on when you switch on the electricity electricity pass to the fan and the blades are rotating you get the air 
Now, when you switch off, then what happens? Immediately electricity stops. And when the electricity stops, immediately the blades also should stop. But they're not stopping, they keep moving because they are in motion and they want to be in motion. So that's why when you switch off the fan, the blades do not stop immediately. It will take some time to stop. So this is an example for inertia of motion. Now take the second example, the same bus example. I guess you are thinking that what is the example? Now take the same the bus, the platform. Now again the person is standing on the platform. Now this time the bus is actually moving in the forward direction. So when this bus is moving the forward direction, this passenger also moving with the same speed of the bus. Now the bus driver suddenly apply the brakes. Then what happens? Bus stops and the lower part of the person as in contacting with the platform, it also stops. But upper part wants to be in motion. So the upper part moving the forward direction. Then what happens? You fall forward. You fall forward. This type of experience also you got many times when you are traveling the bus. And this is another example for inertia of motion.